The touch of zephyr and of spring has loosened winter's thrall. The well-dried keels are wheeled again to sea. The plowman cares not for his fire, nor cattle for their stall, and frost no more is whitening all the lee. Now Cytheria leads to the dance, the bright moon overhead. The graces and the nymphs, together knit, with rhythmic feet the meadow beat, while Vulcan, fiery red, heats the Cyclopean forge in Aetna's pit. Tis now the time to wreath the brow with branch of myrtle green, or flowers just opening to the vernal breeze. Now Faunus claims his sacrifice among the shady treen, lambkin or kidling, whichsoe'er he please. Pale death, impartial, walks his round. He knocks at cottage gate and palace portal. Cestius, child of bliss, how should a mortal's hopes be long when short his being's date? Lo here, the fabulous ghosts, the dark abyss, the void of the Plutonian hall, where soon as e'er you go, no more for you shall leap the auspicious die to seat you on the throne of wine. No more your breast shall glow for Lycidas, the star of every eye.